Hi there, Robin here from Expert On. Today we're going to be talking about this. It's not a speaker, it's not a mixer, it's, well, it's a speaker stand. It is the Color Stand LED Heavy Duty LED Speaker Stand. That's what's written right here. From AccuStand, which is another name for American DJ. Uh, lit up, that's what it's all about. Putting lights on it, getting it all lit up. Now I have to say, we do a lot of projects, a lot of custom work here. And uh, I priced this out as a project and it costs as much, if not more, to do it as a project than it is to buy the finished product. So we're going to throw a speaker on this. We're going to see what the different lights are. Then we're going to put a scrim on top of the whole thing, see how it looks. It's great. comes with remote control. Again, just pointed at it. It's RF, which is really good. And uh, it works really well. So we'll see how, uh, how really well it works once we throw a, a scrim on top of it and uh, turn some of the lights off. All right, so here it is, doing its thing. I've got a rolling pitch for colors, so it's gonna go through the red, green, blue, all the different colors, just by cycling, but it does come in a remote, and I can say, oh, I want it to be white, or green, or I guess that's supposed to be purple, and that's supposed to be an aqua. So you can pick and choose. Now, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, when it's really lit up, it's not doing very much. The sticks are basically, you know, put it in red and it's like, caution, there's a tripod here. But outside of that, it's 80 bucks US. So what does it look like when we put a scrim on it? That'll be next. We're going to take a scrim, get it underneath from the trooper down, bring it out. Uh, just before we do that, though, I'm going to go turn the lights off so you can get a little bit more bling out of it. And there you go, and the lights are off. So, I mean, this is typically, you're not gonna get all the lights off. Remember, you're gonna be using this in a hall, so let's be realistic about it. Uh, we do still have our runner lights around, and we have our PARs and all our washes doing what they normally do in the showroom. So, I mean, this is realistically the kind of coloring you can get. Now, of course, it's always a little brighter on camera, but that's why I put the camera far away, hopefully to get a, a good shot of it that way. But again, color options. All built in you can even have it in demo mode it'll do its own little thing and flash and blink and do kinds of cool stuff so we'll put a scrim on top of it and uh, we'll see how that looks all right so we threw a scrim on it it was a quick job a little get it done but uh, I had to move it back I had to move it back because I had it here and then if I stand here you can tell uh, between the wash and the par light uh, you couldn't tell that the actual poles were on so here we've got it. There's the red, uh, there's the blue, green, purple, all the different colors. Again, you can put it in demo mode, have it do its thing. It's nice. It's nicer that it's got a scrim on top of it. It was cool before. I'm going to say it's nice and it's worth its money, uh, considering you probably pay half as much for just a stand. So why not get a stand with lights on it? Uh, you can have them on if you want and you don't have to. But uh, definitely, like I said, I'll bring it back to the table. I'll tell you what's actually inside of it, and then you can determine for yourself. But I think it's a, I think it's a good investment if you're running out of things to buy. All right, so here we are, back at the table. We've got the stand all back up here. Uh, I'm not plugging it back in again because we've seen all that, and we've seen it with the tubes on its own and with scrims. Now, for the actual unit itself, uh, I know I said I would mention how it was made, and I'm going to go through that like really, really fast. 12 volt power supply and you're looking at about a 2 amp. Now, that's hooked up to an RF RGB controller. And the RGB controller is hooked to a three-way RGB splitter, one going for each pole. Then they hot glue 50-50 RGB lights inside. You've got an acrylic translucent tube that's about 316 thick and they use the original feet because all the hardware got recycled. Now, all that being said, don't do it. It's not worth it. Um, it costs just as much, and we buy things at wholesale. It costs just as much to actually make your own, probably, than it is if you're not recycling a whole bunch of parts that you had kicking around the garage. So, if you really like the stand, just buy the American DJ. It'll be done. You'll have it. You'll plug it in. It will work. That's the important part. Now, that being said, if you've got a good set of stands, and you don't have what we were using, which were the scrims, I'd recommend getting the scrims first. That 
is something that a lot of people miss to talk about. Now, scrims are perfect. They really, really clean up your speaker stands. You get them for in white and black, two-sided and three-sided. Eventually, you should collect all of them. Uh, the brand that we used here today was from Pile. It's the brand that we sell in our showroom. It works for us really, really well. Uh, there are different price points on these products, so we'll list the pile of ones down below. Uh, you can get other brands that have a little bit heavier material fabric to it, that sort of thing. There are choices there. Just make sure that you're not just paying for a more expensive brand name, that you're actually gonna get a better product in that package. So, that being said, I think we're gonna wrap this up. Now, this is $80 US, $100 Canadian currently. Uh, we'll have links down below for the stand. We'll also add links down below for all the scrims. So this way you have a good idea uh, what's going on. We'll also have the descriptions because we didn't talk about how tall it was and the weight capacity. We'll note that all down. Uh, 60 pound capacity load. There you go. I said it. Um, so, all right. So for today, we're going to call it a wrap on that. Uh, at this point, you definitely see the palm tree. And that basically says, hey, have you subscribed yet? If not, hit that palm tree. There's some extra videos to watch as well. And I want to say thank you very much for watching this video and hope to see you next time. Bye for now.